Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers, Kim Yeonjun Sensei and Daniel Sensei, for giving me an opportunity to give a talk in this exciting conference. So one of my subjects is cross diffusion, and uh, I'd like to. Uh, so I'm going to talk about cross diffusion system. And uh, another topic of my problem is cell cell adhesion or cell sorting problem. So I'm working on cell population dynamics from modeling and analytical point of view. And the problem is related to chem chemotaxis. And, uh, and uh, the problem is included to some non-local term. And some people are talking about non-local term. And uh, so Kim Yanjin, Professor Kim Yanjin, uh, were talking about uh, problem with cell adhesion. So I'd like to talk about uh, so this topic, but uh, so maybe next time. So, <coughs> so we are concerned. Uh, I'm concerned. I'm working on cross diffusion and uh, related to chemotaxis. So, so each talk in this conference is very exciting and interesting for me. So, uh, so I I glad to be here. And so thank you for organizing this conference. Nice conference. So today I'll talk about approximations and numerical analysis for nonlinear cross diffusion systems of this type. Here, Z, beta, and F are vector valued. So oh, okay. So so we consider this problem with m components in multi dimension. So let me talk about. Uh, let me introduce some problem of this type. So. <coughs> Roland Deverett uh, have talked about uh, were talking up is uh, talking about Shigesada Kawasaki Teramoto and uh, this type. So probably I, I don't need to explain this type of problem, but uh, let me introduce these problems briefly. So uh, this is Shigesada Kawasaki Teramoto cross diffusion system, and if the cross diffusion term is not so alpha equal to zero. There exists a constant steady state. Ah, there exists constant steady state for this cross diffusion system. But uh, so if alpha is not, then the constant steady state is globally suitable, uh, asymptotically suitable. But uh, however, so if there are these cross diffusion terms, then the constant steady state becomes unsuitable and special pattern appears like this. So this is a numerical simulation for this cross diffusion system. So, spe so segregation phenomenon occurs by the cross diffusion effect. So stationary solution becomes unsuitable and like this. And uh, other example of cross diffusion system of this type is, for example, like this cooperative system. So this is related to starvation driven diffusion. Okay, so in this problem, the diffusivity of the first species weakens in high concentration of the area of the second species. Okay, so so their movement is first ar around here. And around here, their movement is slow, so they gather around around here, and uh, then the second species grows up, and then the first species gather around here, and so we can see spiky pattern like this. So aggregation phenomenon occurs by the cross diffusion effect. So cross diffusion effect may give rise to segregation or aggregation. Another Example of cross diffusion system is cross diffusion system is a piecewise linear diffusivity. So this cross diffusion system is related uh, is regarded as a weak formulation of free boundary problem which possesses triple junction or multiple junction points. So so there are many interesting cross diffusion systems. So I'm going to deal with, I, I'm, we are dealing with this type of cross diffusion system. And I didn't talk about the degeneracy, uh, degenerate problem, but uh, in our framework, uh, we can also deal with degenerate parabolic equations. 
such as Stefan problem or porous medium equation. So, uh, the, so the presence of degeneracy of diffusion and cross diffusion, we call this nonlinearity of diffusion, complicate its analysis and numerical analysis. So it might be useful for analysis of nonlinear problem to remove the nonlinearities. So uh, we'd like to avoid the nonlinearities. So to this end, we propose this reaction diffusion system as an approximation to this cross diffusion system. Uh, here, U and B also vector valued. So uh, we have M PDE and M ODE. Okay, uh, 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 so, okay, Professor A have, uh, were, was talking about uh, reaction diffusion system approximation similar to this. <coughs> so uh, probably we, uh, so I, I don't need to explain the detail of this one, but, okay, so, it, so, let U epsilon and B epsilon be the solution of this reaction diffusion system, then mu U plus B converges to the solution of the cross diffusion system as epsilon tends to zero. So in this problem, the nonlinearity of the diffusion moves to reaction parts of the reaction diffusion system. So oh, dealing with semilinear problem is uh, usually easier than doing with nonlinear problem, so I think this is useful for analysis of nonlinear problem. <coughs> so and this implies the mechanism of non cross diffusion nonlinear diffusion might be captured by reaction diffusion interaction. Okay. So I proved uh, this convergence result in 2011, but uh, quite recently we uh, we obtained rates of convergence with respect to epsilon. Ah, okay, I, I didn't talk about uh, mu. Mu is a fixed parameter. Uh, this controls the upper bound of the nonlinear diffusivity and uh, the diffusion coefficient for V is not. So this implies a lower bound of the nonlinear diffusivity. Okay, so Oh, let me introduce our recent result about the uh, rates of convergence. <coughs> assumptions are here. Uh, assumptions on beta is here. Beta is repeat continuous, and uh, beta satisfies these conditions. I think these conditions are slightly, a little bit complicated, so, but uh, so we, so if we construct system with full diffusion matrix, diffusion matrix, then the matrix is positively definite. Or we can deal with weakly coupled case, so triangular diffusion matrix case. And we also deal with more general problem, which uh, possesses broke triangular diffusion matrix. So here, the not, and uh, this, this part is arbitrary, but uh, this Blocks, so matrix of each block is positively defined. So let me show you some example of such beta. For the Shigesada Kawasaki Teramoto cross diffusion system, these, if these coefficients satisfy these condition, then the diffusion matrix is positively defined. And if C1 or C2 is not, then the system is called weakly coupled. So we can deal with this type of problem. But uh, precisely speaking, so our function beta is here. <coughs> and precisely speaking, beta is not Lipschitz continuous, globally Lipschitz, not globally Lipschitz. But uh, uh, if the solution is bounded, then we can replace the function beta with global Lipschitz function. So <coughs> if the solution is bounded, the function beta satisfy the assumption H1. Uh, uh, so under some uh, assumptions, we can, we have 
this result. So more restricted, but uh, in general, we don't have th this result. So, but anyway, so okay. So we are interested in numerical analysis or something. So uh, usually we don't uh, deal with blow up solution or so, some things. Amber. We don't uh, deal with unbounded solution. So, so in our study, so Lipschitz assumption for beta is not so strong assumption. Okay, for the fractional type nonlinear diffusion. So th this beta is here, and this function beta such. Uh, so this system is weakly coupled system. So, and uh, this is global Lipschitz. So or uh, function beta satisfies assumption H1. <coughs> For the uh, piecewise linear case, the piecewise linear cross diffusion system is like this. And th so the function beta is global Lipschitz, and if these coefficients satisfy this th th this condition then the matrix is positive definite. So we can deal with this type of nonlinear cross division system with piecewise linear function. OK, so we can deal with uh, these type of problems. A function, uh, so assumptions on f and mu are here. So f is a Lipschitz continuous function. And mu fixed the constant fixed constant mu is less than some constant. And this constant is determined by the function beta. Okay, under these assumptions, we obtain, uh, we have unique existence of the solution, weak solution. And so we suppose that H1 and H2 hold. And let Z and Z bar be the weak solution of cross diffusion with initial data Z naught and Z bar naught, respectively. Then, distance of the weak solution is estimated by the distance of the initial data. So this implies the uniqueness of the weak solution. So existence of the weak solution has been already known under these assumptions. So we have unique existence of weak solution of cross division system. So our result, recent result about rates of convergence is here. So, so we assume that uh, H1, H2, and H3 hold. And let Z be the weak solution of cross diffusion system. And U epsilon and B epsilon be the solution, weak solution of reaction diffusion system. And put Z epsilon equal mu U plus V. Then mu U plus V converges to the Solution, weak solution of the cross diffusion system, and the, the rate is so this one. So, uh, square root of epsilon. If the initial data is slightly regular, so Z0 belongs to H1, then the order becomes 1. Okay, so we are dealing with nonlinear cross diffusion of this type. And we propose this reaction diffusion system as an approximation to this. And in this problem, so diffusion is linear, and we have reaction part. So in other words, we can remove, we removed the nonlinearity of the diffusion by means of reaction diffusion system. So I think this is useful for analysis of nonlinear problem. So in fact, we apply this theory to numerical analysis. I mean, discretize this in space and time to obtain numerical scheme. Then the numerical scheme is for nonlinear cross division system. OK, this is just this discretization of semi-linear problem. So there are a lot of numerical scheme for semi-linear problem. So just choose some suitable numerical scheme to obtain numerical scheme for this one, what you want. 
So this is just a discretization of semilinear problem. So we can easily analyze this relation. And now uh, we have already obtained convergence results for this part. So combining these analysis, we obtain convergence of the new Mecca scheme. So uh, let me talk about the uh, discrete time schemes for nonlinear cross diffusion system. There are a few results about the numerical analysis for Shigesada Kawasaki Teramot cross diffusion system. Gary and Gato Jungel have considered three implicit nonlinear discrete time scheme, and they proved its convergence in one space dimension. So here, three implicit implies like this choice. So the time derivative is replaced with time difference, like this. And they chose here and here and here and. Okay, so. So, and uh, other researchers have considered free impulse to scheme of this type. So, uh, this is nonlinear system, and uh, so if <coughs> if we discretize this in space, we obtain nonlinear algebraic systems. And it, so if we consider, when we consider two or three dimensional problem with uh, three or four or more component system, the algebraic, uh, algebraic system becomes very large. And uh, uh, so no, we have uh, nonlinear algebraic system, so we have to use some such as Newton's method to linear, linear, linearize the scheme. So ensuring li linear algebraic system is very large. And uh, the implementation is not easy. So fully implicit nonlinear scheme is, has better stability and accuracy properties in practice. However, it, it's not uh, easy to implement. So. It's unfriendly toward mathematicians and students who want to see numerical solutions, but who don't want to spend a lot of time and effort on programming. So uh, I propose linear scheme to approximate nonlinear cross diffusion system. Oh, this, this linear scheme. OK, so in each component, uh, the scheme is this, this one. So this scheme consists of solving linear elliptic equations and performing explicit correction of the to obtain the n. Okay, so this is linear elliptic equation. So after discretize this in space, we obtain linear algebraic system. And the matrix is the same for each i and each n, each time step. So uh, implementation is very easy. So implementation is almost same as that for the linear heat equation. And the, the matrix is same for i and n. So computational cost is less than m times that for the linear equation, the linear heat equation. Okay, so our claim is this. So Z is a uh, uh, solution of discrete time scheme for this linear scheme. Th then, so Z converges to the solution of the cross diffusion system as time step size tends to zero. And uh, this uh, proposed numerical method is versatile. I mean, so if we want to consider other problems, so Shigesada Kawasaki Teramoto model or starvation driven diffusion, uh, we can replace the function, just replace the function beta. And uh, this scheme is very easy to implement and unconditionally suitable and convergent and conservative and low comp computational cost. Okay, so uh, let me explain the derivation of this linear scheme. 
So we consider semi-implicit discretization of this reaction diffusion system approximation to cross diffusion system. Okay, so semi-implicit implies like this choice. So this time difference, uh, time derivative is replaced with time difference. And we choose here n and here n minus one. And choose epsilon equal to tau and put to z n equals mu u plus b. Then from the this first relation, we obtain this one here, z n minus one. And so now we chose epsilon equal to tau, so this part is one. So these parts are cancelled out. So we obtain this relation. So from the second relation, we obtain this one. And this part is z minus one. And add, adding mu u n both sides, we obtain this. And so, okay. So if m equal to one, so we consider equation the, this scheme coincides with a linear scheme proposed by Berger, Bridges, Rogers for degenerate parabolic equation. So this scheme is regarded as, a, as an extension of their scheme to cross diffusion system. Okay, so we are considering nonlinear cross diffusion system and we deal with both nonlinear scheme and linear scheme, nonlinear scheme of this type. So Professor Laurent Debret also uh, deal with the, the, this type of nonlinear scheme. So we analyze both nonlinear scheme and linear scheme. The theoretical result in all the previous studies, I, so I mean, so, so th th these results Previous studies are about convergence around subsequences because their proofs rely on uh, compactness argument and the uniqueness of the solution of cross diffusion is not known for the L2 initial data, general initial data. So, uh, for example, if the initial data is slightly regular, then th there, uh, we know the uniqueness of the solution. So, uh, under this assumption, we obtain the so whole sequences converges to the weak solution of the nonlinear cross diffusion system. But in our framework, we obtain the uniqueness of the weak solution of cross diffusion system with L2 initial data. So in our framework, whole sequences converges to the solution. And we, uh, furthermore, we obtain rates of convergence of discrete time schemes, both linear and nonlinear schemes. So our result is this. Results are this. We consider this type of nonlinear scheme and linear scheme, and we obtain same rates for both the nonlinear and linear scheme. So uh, if the initial data belongs to L2, then the solution of discrete time scheme converges to the solution of the the cross diffusion system and its order is this one, so square root of tau. If the initial data belongs to H1, then the order becomes one. We obtained th these rates for both the nonlinear and linear scheme. And these rates are sharp on account of regularity of the solution. So we obtain the optimal error, uh, optimal rate of convergence for both nonlinear and linear scheme. <coughs> so this is this linear scheme is very easy to implement and uh, low computational cost, uh, but uh, the rate of convergence is the same as that for the nonlinear scheme. So I think this linear scheme is useful. Useful. Okay. So this is, is analysis for discrete time schemes. So. Uh, so next, we discretize this scheme in space. So 
we consider a finite volume scheme for the cross division system. But the pro probably, so I don't talk about the detail of the, this scheme, but uh, we employ finite volume scheme to discretize this linear scheme in space. <coughs> and ensuring finite volume method is this one. And we analyze, ah, so, okay, so this scheme is unconditionally suitable. And we obtained error estimate. <coughs> so, oh, okay. The finite volume solution converges to the solution of cross diffusion system in L2 space, and its order is like, like this. Square root of the time step size plus H implies the mesh size. <coughs> we obtained this order, and uh, if the not uh, belongs to H1, we, we obtain this order, tau plus H. So this order is the same as that for the linear heat equation. So in my proof, we use this relation. So here, phi is a weak solution of the Poisson equation, and phi d is a finite volume solution of this problem. So distance of this, uh, this implies a discrete L2 norm, is bounded <laughs> by so h times L2 norm of phi, psi. We use the, this relation, but uh, so to the best of my knowledge, uh, so if, if the we if we have this relation, we obtain this so probably optimal rates. But uh, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is no such result for finite volume scheme. So, but uh, so for the Finite element method or hierarchy method, we have this relation. So, if we employ the finite element method to discretize in space, we obtain the optimal error estimate. But uh, for the finite body method, we don't have this. <coughs> if you know about uh, like this result, please let me know. So, uh, anyway, so we obtain the same order as uh, that for the linear heat equation. Okay, so we are considering nonlinear cross diffusion system of this type, and we propose the semi-linear and linear scheme to approximate nonlinear cross diffusion system. And we uh, gave a framework for analyzing uniqueness of the weak solution of the cross diffusion system. And we <coughs> recently we obtained convergence rates of the reaction diffusion system approximation with respect to epsilon. And we also obtained the optimal error estimate for the discrete time schemes of linear scheme and nonlinear scheme. And uh, we discretize this in space by using finite volume technique. So, and we obtain error estimates for the finite volume scheme. So, I'll stop here. Thank you for your attention.